Welcome, grads, teachers, teaching assistants, parents, relatives, friends, and honored guests. Mr. Blake Richards, MP for the Airdrie Banff Riding, Mayor Peter Brown, Mr. Greg Luderback, Superintendent of Schools at Rocky View, Ms. Cindy Stefanato, Director of Indigenous Learning at Rocky View, Mr. Ryan Reed, Principal of Bird Church High School, and Assistant Principals Mr. Dan New, Mrs. Mary Cumberland, and Mr. Rod McCreel. Mr. Todd Brand, Rocky View Board Trustee for War Three, was unable to attend today, but sends his congratulations to the graduates. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 commencement ceremonies for Bird Church High School. I'm Gobin Jaswal. And I'm Gaurav Jaswal. And we will be your masters of ceremonies for this evening's event. In consideration of the 12 years of work, on behalf of the grads, we ask that at this time cell phones be turned off. We would also like to let you know that all photography will be taken care of by edge imaging near this stage. So while the graduates are crossing, we ask you to remain seated. These professional photos will be provided digitally to families. To begin our proceedings today, please welcome graduate Kaneko Wong for a Rocky View Schools land acknowledgement. Rocky View Schools would like to acknowledge the land and recognize all the indigenous peoples whose footprints have marked these lands from time immemorial. Together we can learn and honor the ways of knowing of indigenous peoples for all future generations. Those who have welcomed us to this land include the Blackfoot Confederacy, consisting of the Siksika, Bikani, and Gainai First Nations, along with the Tsutsina, Stony Nakota people of Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Good Stony, and lastly, the beautiful Métis people of Alberta Region 3. We are grateful for all elders and traditional knowledge keepers who join us today, along with those who have lived and walked before us. We respect and acknowledge the sacred land as an act of reconciliation and eternal gratitude. Thank you, Kaneko. We now call upon graduate Zach James for the singing of O Canada. If you are able, please rise and remove your hats. strong and free from far and wide oh Canada we stand on guard for thee God keep our land glorious and free oh Canada we stand on guard for thee, O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for Thank you, Zach. Today is an exciting day where a Bird Church graduating class of 2023 can reflect and celebrate on the accomplishments of getting to this point in their educational journey. Prior to the presenting of diplomas, we have the honor of hearing from the dignitaries in attendance. First to the stage, we'd like to invite Mr. Blake Richards, Member of Parliament for the Banff Airdrie Electoral District. Since 2015, Mr. Richards has been a member of parliament for the Banff Airdrie riding, one of the largest and most diverse ridings in Canada. Please welcome MP Blake Richards. Greetings, graduates, chargers. 
I, um, I guess well, this is the time where, where I'm supposed to offer you some advice. So I will do that. I've got a few pieces of advice that I'd like to, like to share with you. And, um, you know, I, I will just say that you've taken a great first step here. This is the first of many successes that I know that you will all have in life. If you work hard, if you're determined, and if you, uh, you know, you're dedicated to whatever it is that you're, you're trying to do, much like you would have had to have done with your high school career. So, so there's the first lesson for you right there, and you've taught yourself that one, well, with a little bit of help, I think, from your parents and your teachers and coaches and various other things, but you've, you've, uh, you've already shown that you have what it takes to succeed. But I'll give you a few pieces of, of advice anyway. And the first one is this. Fortune favors the bold. So don't be afraid to make some mistakes, to try things, attempt things, because the only true mistake is the one that you fail to learn from. Secondly, if, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. You know, you can think of a, I can think of a lot of successful people in the world who didn't make it the first time. And I'll give just a couple of examples. Everyone knows the name Michael Jordan. And he's known, how many basketball players amongst the graduates? Any basketball players? A few of you? I see some hands kind of timidly. Come on, where's the basketball players? All right, there's a few more. So I think it's pretty safe to say that Michael Jordan is known as one of, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. But it, in you know, his first year of high school, he was cut from the uh, high school basketball team. But did he take that as a sign that he could never succeed? Obviously not. And look, look at the success that he went on to have in his basketball career. Um, another name that mo I hope most of you will recognize. Anyone recognize the name John Diefenbaker? We're just trying to figure out whether you paid attention in social studies class here. So I don't know where the social teachers are, but I hope that you all know who John Diefenbaker is, of course, former Prime Minister of Canada. But I think what a lot of people don't know is that he actually ran for office and lost five times before he ever was elected. And that wasn't even running for Prime Minister, that was just elected, uh, running for, I think he ran for mayor of, of his community in Saskatchewan once, he ran for the provincial legislature there a couple of times, and the federal parliament a couple of times, lost five times, but he kept on trying. And then when he became, later became a member of parliament, he also ran twice unsuccessfully for the leadership of his party before successfully winning it on the third try. And then another example from him, when he was, uh, first became a lawyer, moved to a small town in Saskatchewan where he thought he could be, have a successful practice, there was only one lawyer in town. But everyone was so loyal to him, this one lawyer that existed, uh, that no one would even rent Diefenbaker a, uh, you know, an office space. He couldn't even find an office space, so he had to rent an empty lot and then build some kind of a wooden structure where he could put a couple of rooms for an office. Uh, and then he was able to build a successful law practice and of course go on through all those things that I, that I discussed already. So don't ever be afraid to, uh, you know, to, to, to pick yourself back up, dust yourself off and try again. There's lots of examples of people who've only become successful because they learn from, from their failures. The third thing I'd say is to remember that there's footprints on the moon. So what that means is that someone has to be the first one to pave the way. So don't ever let someone tell you that you can't do something just because it's never been done before. Because someone has to be the first. Fourth, th fourth thing I'd like to, uh, to, to say is put the value of doing the right thing ahead of doing it right. So in other words, show, um, show integrity, build trust, show character. So it means, you know, doing the right thing, but not just when, you, you know, everyone's paying attention to what's going on. Even when people aren't watching, even when you think no one is watching what you do, do the, always do the right thing. Um, and, you know, try to make sure that you build trust, build a strong uh, rapport with people because you can, it takes a long time to build that trust, but you can, you can lose trust in just an instant with one wrong thing. So always try to ensure that you're showing integrity. 
And the last thing I'd like to give you advice on is this. No matter how successful you become in life, no matter what happens, no matter what you go on to do, don't ever forget what's truly, truly important in life. And that's staying true to your most deeply held beliefs, to your values, and always being there for your family. You think about your, your, your 18 or almost 18 years in life, who's always been there for you, right? It's your parents, your family. That's who's always been there for you, and they always will be. And you need to be there for them as well. So, you know, um, take a little time to show some appreciation for your parents over the next little while. And whatever you go on to do in the next, you know, in the next year, um, whether you, you, know, you go on to post-secondary or you go off to work or you, um, you know, take a, take a gap year to do some traveling, whatever it might be, take a little time to go home and visit, right? Like, I think your parents, they all don't want you to stay in, the, in their basement for the next 10 or 12 years. So don't do that either. Um, but when you do leave and pursue whatever it is that you're doing, they want you to come back and visit, right? So don't just show up when you've got a whole bunch of laundry that needs to be done or you need to borrow some money. But show up, spend a little time with your parents now and then because I know they'll miss you. And so that's the, that's the best advice you can have is to show some appreciation for family. Let me close with, with one last thing. I think one of the best places for great advice is from country and, and western music. And so I'm going to share with you some words from, from a great country song. How many country fans amongst the graduates? Any of you? There's a few of you. I wasn't a big country person back uh, in high school either, but, you know, grew on me later on. And here's some words from a great country song that I think you will appreciate and that are appropriate for today. I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. Never settle for the path of least resistance. Living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. And that's my biggest wish for you graduates as you move on to whatever it is you, you, you do in life. I hope you dance. Congratulations, graduates, and, ha and have a very successful life. Thank you, MP Richards. We work closely with our neighbors at the City of Airdrie and are thrilled that Mayor Peter Brown is joining us today. Mr. Peter Brown was first elected mayor in 2010 and is now serving his fourth consecutive term. He is passionate about our community and works tirelessly on behalf of all Airdrie residents and businesses. Please welcome Mayor Peter Brown. Not this again. I love you too. Graduates, how are you? Sorry, graduates, how are you? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Good afternoon, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, teachers and administrators. On behalf of the city, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here to be part of this amazing afternoon. Congratulations, class of 2023. We acknowledge the perseverance and hard work required from you to make it to this stage today. High school, as you know, can be exciting and challenging. And here you are, you did it. Take a deep breath, appreciate your accomplishments. Graduation is not just one day. Graduation is a total of your years, experiences, the friends you've made, the people you've met, the work you achieved, the impact you made and will make on all of us around the world. You've gained the knowledge and experience to go out into the world. Some of you have become doctors, some will be chefs, engineers, maybe an MP, prime minister, an old mayor like me. There's nothing, and I mean nothing, I'm looking you all in the eyes, nothing you cannot accomplish if you put your mind to it. So we're very proud of you today. So students, the lessons you've learned over your school career provide a solid foundation from which to build a great life. Whether you stay in our city or move on to other places, I believe you'll take with you the values you learned here and that you will use to make a difference in the world. To the teachers, I know all of you know this, but I'm going to acknowledge our teachers, staff, and support teams. 
I have nothing but appreciation and sincere gratitude for the work they do every day to support our graduates and our students. I'm certain the graduates would all agree that much of their success can be contributed to the work of our great teachers. Oftentimes, teachers are friends, they're confidants, mentors. Thank you for preparing these students. Thank you for being there for the kids. We sincerely appreciate you all. To the parents, guardians, and caregivers, loved ones, friends, family here tonight, I can imagine, I've been here myself with my four kids, you must feel that great pride and sense of seeing your child graduating today. You've seen firsthand how hard they've worked and tried over their years. Thank you for walking beside them, for seeing them each day that they needed you, and for being here today to celebrate with them. Each student is here because of a collective effort striving for your successes. To the graduates, remember the people celebrating with you today. They are your foundation that you can build on and continue to build on. They will stand by you and celebrate your accomplishments and provide support when needed as you embark on the next chapter of your lives. I was going to talk to you and give advice like Blake, but I actually, I, I pared it back and I actually came up with some words. So I picked these four words. And the first one is fearless. It means lacking fear, brave. This does not mean you need to leap off of the ceiling fan here or climb Everest or run with the bulls. All those may sound like some fun to some of you out there, I'm sure. But it can be a fear of public speaking or uncomfortable in social settings. Whatever your fear, identify it, face it, and overcome it. Because I can guarantee you, you'll be a better person for it. Second word I think Blake touched on is integrity. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Moral uprightness. This is a word that's much used. It's also key to all future successes in my mind. The people I've met over my lifetime that have integrity are the ones that had the most impact on myself and so many others they came in contact with. Always be true to yourselves. This is one word that didn't even make the top 20 on the internet, but I'm gonna put it as my top four. Resilient able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. I know many of you understand resiliency. It's such an amazing word. Whatever you face in the future, good, bad, or indifferent, please know there is nothing, and I mean nothing, and I've seen lots, nothing that you can't overcome. Always be resilient and don't ever, ever be afraid to reach out if you need any kind of supports. And the last word I think is for me is um, the one that resonates the most is kindness. The quality of being friendly, generous and considerate. What you give to the world, in my opinion, is what you get back. The value of being kind is immeasurable. And believe me when I say, the act of kindness encourages those receiving your kindness to do the same and spread that. So there is no downside to being kind. In closing, I say this to all the graduates. So you need to listen now, don't fall asleep on me. Whether you choose university time off or travel or straight to the workforce, I hope you will consider coming back to Airdrie. Buy a home, start a business, have a family. I'm sure everyone in this room will agree with me. We are a much better community with you in it. I wish all of you great health and happiness in your lives. Congratulations, Birchard, class of 2023. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Brown. On behalf of Rocky View Schools, we are pleased to welcome Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Greg Luderbach, to celebrate our graduates. Please welcome Mr. Luderbach to the stage. Here's a grad pro tip. As you see the speakers walk up to the front, like check out how, how many sheets their speech is, right? It tells you how much you need to dig in for, be prepared. One sheet. 
But I'm also old, so the font's pretty big too, so that's good news. Okay, today, as we celebrate our graduates, and you turn to the right side, it helps. So, distinguished guests and our staff, proud families, and most importantly, graduates of Bird Church High, congratulations. As superintendent, I have the pleasure of being here today, and I stand before you with pride and joy and happiness. The moment signifies the culmination of lots of years of hard work. You figured out a way through it, you dedicated yourself, and you had that unwavering commitment to education. Okay, now, let's be true here. A few of you, there might have been a waiver or two along on the journey, but you got here. We gather here to celebrate your accomplishments, resilience, determination, perseverance, particularly in faces of the disruptions you faced over those first couple years of high school. You've come a long way since you walked into your first kindergarten class, rocking your Despicable Me lunchbox and your Toy Story 3 t-shirt. Now graduates, you've encountered a unique set of challenges during your high school journey. The world threw lots of curveballs your way. You, we tested your adaptability and your resilience. You faced online learning and canceled events and missed opportunities. And yet, somehow through all of that, you figured it out. You exemplified strength. You rised above the difficult challenges that were presented. And maybe most importantly, you got through high school with only having chat GBT for the last six months. <laughs> now the road to success is rarely a straight path. There's lots of turns and detours along the way. But remember, it's in those moments of uncertainty and sometimes even disappointment that your character is truly forged. Your destination may change, but as you navigate the journey, never lose faith in yourself. As we celebrate you today, we also have to remember and acknowledge the tremendous efforts of the exceptional Burt Church staff. From our dedicated teachers, to our passionate administrators, to our amazing support staff, they've been your guides, mentors, champions. And despite all the challenges, they've been working tirelessly with you, navigating the challenges alongside you, ensuring that your success was front of mind. Thank you, staff, for your unwavering commitment to our grads. To the families and supports to our graduates here, congrats. I'm sure there was times probably along the journey you weren't always sure that they were going to make it to today, but you got them here. High five. We don't just celebrate the grads today, but we celebrate those supports and families that are here on this journey together. You stood beside them, you provided them with love and guidance, and you built a strong foundation for them. And as we transition away from high school and graduation, things change, and you're, help, you're there to help support them through the transition. And while Mayor Brown certainly wants uh, everyone to come back and move to Airdrie, and as an Airdrie resident, I think that's a pretty darn good idea, I know your family also wants an important thing for you too, and that's for you to get out of their basement eventually. Grads, sometime over this weekend, take some time to say thanks to those family members, to your supports for helping you get here. In closing, your favorite closing comment here for grads and speeches, as you step into the world beyond Burt Church's indoors trees, you embrace the challenges and see them as stepping stones for your future success. It won't all be perfect, and that's okay. Be yourself. Stay committed to the vision you have for your life. Make a positive difference in the world. Take care of each other. And I truly, truly hope you achieve your dreams. Congratulations, Burt Church Class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Luterbach. Mr. Reed has been the principal at Bird Church High School for four years. We would like to invite our principal, Mr. Reed, to the podium. That's literally everything in my bio. I've been the principal for four years. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, awesome. Good to see you guys. It's been a journey. Hey, for some of us, it's been a, a little up and down at times, but uh, it makes me proud to see all you guys. Uh, hey, Jamie, you made it, bud. Good job, man. <laughs> God's an awesome day. It takes a ton of work, 
but uh, just so you know, your staff really enjoy this day because it actually is a celebration for us too. And it's a celebration uh, of the work that we've been able to do together over the last four years. So your success is our success as well. So congrats to all of you. Uh, it's also hard to go forth because all of the cliche things that you say in a grad speech seem to already be taken, but here we go. Special guests, parents, colleagues, and most importantly, students, it is an honor to celebrate the 2023 graduating class today. We're thrilled to celebrate our graduates' accomplishments with all of you. But putting on a celebration of this magnitude takes much effort, and I am grateful to Mrs. Cumberland, Mr. Verhees, Mrs. Chadwick, and the numerous other staff for the hours that they put into organizing today. Let's give them a round of applause. As I reflected on the words to share with you guys today, I was drawn to the fact that we started at Burke Church the same year. So your grade nine year was my first year, and I still remember the grade nine uh, speech in the gym, the link crew, and uh, I think I gave you some encouragement and stuff, and then I said, come to school and don't vape. And some of you did all right with that, but those were, uh, my, my speech today might be a little more motivating. I was trying to scare you a little bit then. But uh, we've, we've become a lot more comfortable uh, with Burt Church over the last four years to the point now where you're graduating. Uh, the enthusiasm that you had at that time was mixed with some nerves, and uh, I was feeling it too. So here we are four years later, a lot more comfortable. We've gotten to know each other well during that time, some of us better than others. Uh, through the ups and downs we experienced, lessons were learned that have stuck with me, and I hope uh, have stuck with you as well. When I look out at you and I see the different individual stories each of you represent, I'm struck by the resiliency and flexibility that you've shown. I'm sure that when we started together in grade nine, there was neither of us could anticipate the next four years, right? And the journey that you've been on, the ups and downs of school being in, school being out, and here you are uh, making it through your journey. As you go from this place, into the next steps in your life, I encourage you to take the lessons you learned with you. While some might be glad that the drama of high school is done, you will quickly realize that the challenges that you face will be with you even beyond high school. Remember how you dealt with them here, remember the lessons you learned, and build on them. Today is not all about the graduates. Uh, certainly, you're the star of the show, but the accomplishments achieved could not have been done without the help of the BCH, it's, it's BCHS staff and your parents, guardians, and caregivers. Staff, wherever you are, thank you for your continued commitment to our students. Today, we celebrate their hard work, but it's also a, a reflection of your commitment. I genuinely thank you. Parents and guardians, we consider you partners in your kid's education. Thank you for walking alongside your child, gradually releasing responsibility to them, trusting us and supporting them through the years of schooling. They could not have done this without you. Graduates, you've earned this through your hard work in a season that was anything but predictable. We're excited to celebrate with you and are proud of everything that you've accomplished. No matter how, fig, how far you go or big, how big your dreams are, know that as a graduate of Birch Church High School, you can always call this place home. Congratulations and enjoy your celebration. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Each year, the students vote to select a teacher to address the graduates. This year, the honor goes to Mrs. Carrie King. Ms. King has been teaching at BCHS for seven years. She thoroughly enjoys chemistry and all things science. Students appreciate her enthusiasm. Even students who don't love science learn to appreciate it. She puts the care in Carrie. We would like to invite Mrs. King to the stage. Just a little cheesy, right? Okay. Good evening, class of 2023. I am thrilled to celebrate this momentous occasion with you all, and I do feel truly honored to have been chosen to address you today. 
Graduating from high school is no small feat, and you should be so proud of yourselves for the hard work, dedication, and perseverance you've shown to get here. As I stand before you, I am filled with mixed emotions. On one hand, I am incredibly excited to see what the future holds for all of you. On the other hand, I am sad to say goodbye to a group of students who have made my job as a teacher so enjoyable. You see, it's not the curriculum that makes this school special. It's the students who fill the halls every day. You've taught me how to use words like slay correctly. You've taught me I'm way too old to use words like slay correctly. Many of you have indulged me in, the love, in my love of the game Wordle and played along enthusiastically. And you've all been incredibly kind when Mr. Larson comes to my class to tell a bad dad joke. It is really no joke when I say that you are the reason I come to work. I mean, don't get me wrong, your PD days are lit, Mr. Reed. I'm, I'm pretty sure that means good. Uh, but my favorite days are spent in the classroom laughing with all of you. You have all brought your own magic to this school, and I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you for the countless hours you've put into your schoolwork, the commitment you've given to our groups, sports, and clubs, and thank you for the resiliency you've shown navigating these very crazy few years. I also want to take this opportunity to acknowledge that I am just one of the many people in this school. It takes a village to create a nurturing and supportive environment that allows students to flourish and succeed, and I am grateful to be part of such a wonderful community at Burt Church High School. We have let you throw shaving cream at us, dump water on us, we've pushed broken down cars out of the student parking lot, we've eaten whole cherry pies against our better judgment, and some of us have even shaved, dyed, or let you wax hair off of us. Some even have such amazing fashion sense that we have dress-up days so we can look just like them. Right, Mr. Kirk? Mr. Sarah? So thank you to our talented and caring staff for all that you have done to bring this special grad class to this moment in time. Now, Mr. Verhees told me three minutes max or I'd ruin his flow, so I have to wrap this up. Also, again, shout out to Mr. Verhees. Uh, I believe he's looking very fit. Is that, is that the word I use? There you go, there you go. And uh, to our admin and all of the grad committee for making these events run so smoothly. So, Ms. Cartwright said I had to say something like intelligent at the end to sound smart, so here you go. As you leave this school and embark on the next chapter of your lives, I want to remind you that you are not leaving behind a school, but you are taking with you the memories, friendships, and lessons that you have learned here. Please continue to embrace challenges, take risks, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Failure is not the opposite of success, but rather a necessary part of the journey towards it. You will make mistakes, you will have regrets, but you will also have joy and laughter and love. Always be kind to yourself and remember as you navigate these years ahead that you will have a forever home at Burt Church. Finally, I would like to leave you with a quote from the great Marie Curie, the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in chemistry. Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and this thing must be attained. Class of 2023, you are all gifted in your own unique ways. You have made our school a better place for being in it, and we will miss you all dearly. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Ms. King. The valedictorian has the honor of giving a speech at the graduation ceremony that shares the common memories, the realities of graduation, and the future aspirations of the class of 2023. The gra this graduate is a BCHS charger who is striving for academic excellence while contributing to a positive school and community culture. To introduce our valedictorian, we would like to welcome Ms. Rebecca Nguyen to the stage. Good evening, graduates, friends, family, and staff. My name is Rebecca Nguyen, and this year, I have the privilege and honor to introduce your 2022-2023 valedictorian, Jesse Schmidt. If anyone knows Jesse, she is high achieving, intelligent, determined, passionate, friendly, and most importantly, one of the kindest human beings out there. 
I've gotten to know Jessie these past few years as her teacher, and I also coach her on the senior varsity volleyball team. Jessie was in the starting lineup as we won bronze and bronze and zones and earned the Rookie of the Year award. Jessie is an outstanding student, excelling both in academics and extracurriculars. She has one of the highest academic averages at her school. Jessie represented the Canadian softball team for a tournament and will also be representing Team Alberta for the Indigenous Games. Jessie achieved second place in ringette for both provincials and nationals. It's evident that she demonstrates excellence in everything she puts her mind to and continues to stay humble. Jessie will continue her journey as she earned an admission scholarship to the University of Western Ontario, receiving an exclusive spot for the Scholars Electives program. Jessie is an amazing leader in our community and I cannot wait to see how she will continue to impact our world. Without further ado, I introduce your valedictorian, Jesse Schmidt. Damn, there's a lot of you. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, parents, friends, family, staff, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. I am extremely grateful to have spent the bulk of my high school career as a Charger and want to thank those who helped us get to this point. First and foremost, I would like to extend our gratitude to the teachers and staff at Birch Church High School who have worked tirelessly to guide us through the last four years. The personalized relationships formed with every teacher quickly torpedoed into an environment flooded with energy, jokes, and smiles. For marking all of our assignments, most of which were submitted late, and exceeding our expectations with regard, to the, with regard to the delivery of the material, we thank you. And to the parents, thank you for further complicating math equations when we'd ask for help, arguing on how you did it differently back in the day. And for decking out our lunches with the fruit snacks necessary to overcome a day plagued with homework. Unwillingly becoming our personal chauffeurs, you have competently and lovingly dealt with every challenge that comes alongside raising a teenager. Your unwavering support and patience motorized our successes, and on behalf of every graduate, we thank you. But most importantly, I would like to take a moment to personally congratulate the graduating class of 2023 for battling through the last four years and making it to the end of our high school journey. We fought through a global pandemic, Mr. Larson's jokes, and even the underclassmen's atrocious parking. I feel incredibly honored to have watched my peers step into the funniest, most authentic, and brutally honest versions of themselves. Every graduate has contributed to the success of our high school journey. They say that if you spend 10,000 hours doing anything, you're a master at it. So for many of us, we now have a doctorate in Tim Hortons. <laughs> I'm sure that they will most definitely miss our consistent funding, or maybe that's just mine and Dalen Morrison's pocket change. Regardless, I am beyond excited to watch the Burt Church's best graduating class disrupt the real world. When informed that I had been awarded the title of valedictorian, I, as any procrastinating student would, began the vast journey into the depths of Google, looking to cobble together some painfully cliche advice that would portray a wise representation of our class. People have spoke to me, spoken to me as if I, a 17-year-old girl, have been awarded the secret to life alongside this title, and that I have some sage-like advice to relay to the graduating class. Yeah, well, sorry to inform you, but I have no idea what I'm doing. And to be honest, I don't think many of us know what we're doing. I feel that I am in no place to advise my peers concerning their future just because I'm really effective at using SparkNotes. So in response, I turned to my dad, hoping he'd be able to spit some advice from his life. Though listening to him mock my stress, I soon realized that he too has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> so in desperation, I turned to the best form of information I knew of, ChatGPT. <laughs> But it said something about being a language model, and so even the robots had no advice for me. The truth is, most of us don't have stage-like advice. Not me, not your parents, not even AI. As you've got to remember, it's all of our first time going through life. Everyone, even an idolized celebrity you may or may not have plastered on your bedroom wall, is living through every moment of their life for the first time. At some point, everyone has experienced walking into a new school and recognizing no one, or simply being overwhelmed with the significant change. 
As we age, we'll inevitably grow along our experiences. So I guess if I were to offer you anything by way of advice, it would be to take a step back and remember, everyone, including you, is clueless. And that some are just a little less clueless than others. For the last year, we've been spoon-fed that now is the time to dream big and how our opportunities are endless, while often being warned to remain realistic and not overreach our abilities. We've been told to stay comfortable, while others have been told to defy this comfort as it creates greatness. It all seems quite contradicting. I know that some people enjoy operating between the lines, simply floating amongst, amongst the organized pages of their story, and there's no shame in that. I also have realized that some like disrupting this uniform sequence, coloring outside those lines and taking risks to stencil in a unique narrative. This too is great. There is no correct path to your journey, as each of the lines will illustrate an untraceable definition of you. Though I advise you to not let the lines dictate your story. Become comfortable with being uncomfortable. When writing your story, be sure to embrace the imperfections as they decorate the page just as much as your achievements. Sorry to break the anticipation, but we're going to mess up, and we're inevitably going to embarrass ourselves. So throw yourself into the opportunities where there's a, a lingering possibility for failure, as it remains just as significant as success itself. There is pride in trying again and again and again. Success is not linear. Erasing the mess-ups may improve your story's visual appeal, though it eats away at the time you have to continue writing. Working tirelessly to uphold a perfect image is ultimately wasteful, as breaking the definition of normality will embellish, embellish your narrative with a unique appeal. Hard work may not inevitably bring success, though resilience will always lead to another opportunity for it. So embrace the hardships, as they too remain a character in your story. Well, I have no idea what I'm doing, and you too may have no idea what you're doing. Though that's okay, as there's an indescribable beauty in embracing uncertainty while celebrating your failures and triumphs alike. If you screw up, who cares? It's never that deep. All good stories come from embarrassing yourself, so embrace your mistakes and don't back down simply because there's a possibility of messing up. As we are thrown into the complexities of real life, armed with diplomas and an inflated ego, remember to step into discomfort and strut with an intrinsic uncertainty, as the opportunities are endless when dancing within a situation in which you have no idea what you're doing. Congrats, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. At this time, we would like to honor each graduate individually. Students will be presented with a Birchurch High School Certificate of Commencement. Each graduate will also receive a yellow rose in honor of Mrs. Alexa Church, who was the wife of Mr. Birchurch. She began this tradition when her school first started celebrating graduations. In honor of her memory, our school has continued this tradition since her passing. Ms. Carrie King will be presenting the graduates with their roses today. Bear Church recognizes graduates' academic achievement, which is present in the ceremony today. To achieve honors, a student must have earned an average of 80% or above. This is represented by a double gold corn worn over the graduate's thole. To receive honorable mention, graduates must have earned an average of 75 to 79.9%. This is represented by a single gold cord. We congratulate these students for their commitment to excellence. And in order, order to honor our Indigenous graduates, students who have identified as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit will be presented with an Indigenous gift to recognize and honor their accomplishment. Some of our Indigenous students have indicated that they prefer to receive their gift in an alternate setting and their wishes will be honored at a later date. One of our assistant principals, Mr. Dan Yu, will be announcing our graduates today. We would ask that you hold your applause until after the graduate is introduced. As stated earlier, we ask that you do not approach the stage to take pictures as we have edge imaging taking professional photographs.
please bear with us, our photographers are just setting up. Each of the graduates has provided us with a short acknowledgement or biography about their next steps, which is really exciting, even with a grad class this large. So I'll introduce the graduate, uh, let you know if they've graduated with honors or distinction, and then I'll read their short bio. Uh, at that time, they'll cross the stage and shake hands and be presented with their degree by Mr. Reed. Are you ready? Tim Abdul, graduating with honors. Tim will remember the overnight basketball tournaments. He plans a career as a doctor. He gives thanks to God and family. <laughs> Dylan Adamo. Dylan plans to attend culinary school. He will remember music class. Dylan thanks his friends and family. Mohammed Al Shash. Mohammed thanks Mr. Lucas and Mr. Netzel for making class fun. He would also like to thank his mother and father for pushing him and his friends for always being there. <laughs> Nicola Alvarado, graduating with honorable mention. Nicola thanks her parents for supporting her. She is thankful to have them by her side to guide her through everything. Braden Arnett. Braden's favorite memory was winning zones with the golf team. He is attending SW College in Kansas on a golf scholarship to study business. <laughs> Felix Auger. Felix will remember finding a passion for mechanics in Mr. Sweetapple's class. He's planning to be a heavy duty mechanic. Alvin Bagtas. Alvin will remember his football seasons. He plans to become a police officer. Alvin thanks his mom, dad, other family, and especially his friends. <laughs> Jeremy Baker. Jeremy plans to go to college to gain a glimpse of what he wants to do. Will Baker. Will thanks all his friends, including Austin, for all the support over the last four years. His future plans are to work on the pipelines for a few months before joining the military for infantry. <laughs> Benjamin Ballantyne. Yeah. Benjamin's memorable moment is today. After taking a year off, he plans to work towards a career in firefighting via paramedic training. Ben thanks his parents and all his teachers. Kiathi Bansal. Kiathi will remember Mr. McRae's Social 20-1 class, specifically for the United Nations Project and being the most loathed and betrayed Canada of all time. She thanks Ms. Branford and Mr. McRae. <laughs> Zoe Barbarieri, graduating with honors. Zoe thanks her mom for driving her to rehearsal every morning and her dad for helping her with math homework every night. Being involved in the drama productions will be her most memorable moments at Burt Church. Brooklyn Barclay. Sorry. Brooklyn Barclay. Brooklyn's memory is meeting her best friend, Zoe Trim. She aspires to be an elementary school teacher. She thanks her mom, dad, herself, and everyone who supported her through school.
Brinley Bean, graduating with honorable mention. Brinley plans to take time to explore possible interests. She thanks her family and friends for being patient with her while she was going through the motions. Cameron Beejan. Cameron thanks Mr. McRae. He will remember talking with his friends about their lives and their future. Cameron hopes to become a paramedic. Mariana Bernal. Mariana thanks her wonderful friends for always being there and creating the best memories together, as well as Ms. Booker for helping her refine her culinary skills in pa for pastry school. Charlotte Baritoni. Charlotte plans to travel the world and see where life takes her. She thanks Mrs. Smith, Ms. Schritter, Mr. Burns, and Mr. Netzel for always being enthusiastic, kind, and welcoming. Simradeep Bhatti. Simradeep would like to thank his mom, dad, and sister for supporting him through his high school years. Peter Bissonnette. Peter wants to thank all the teachers who had to put up with him. He plans to live life in the coming years. Yes. Jocelyn Blanco. Jocelyn thanks their parents for believing they could graduate and be happy as long as they passed even with a 50. Jocelyn also wants to thank her amazing teachers in grade 12. Mason Bodnarik. Mason plans to pursue a career in the electrical field. He would like to thank Mr. Sarah. Tyler Beauville. Tyler says he will always remember lockdowns. <laughs> Nessie Brisbane, graduating with honors. Nessie thanks Mr. Matt Kamistic for everything he has done for them. The list is endless. Nessie plans on taking a gap year before pursuing a career in the sciences. Isabella Bruet. Isabella is planning on taking a gap year before pursuing a career in nursing. She thanks Yushel for her friendship and support, as well as Mr. Reed and Mr. McCreel for all the guidance over the last few years. Savannah Brown. Savannah thanks her mom for everything she has done for her. Also, Mr. McCreel for always being there. Hallie Brownlee. Hallie will remember the senior band trip to Edmonton. She thanks Ms. Cartwright for letting her group of friends have lunch in her room for the last four years. Cassidy Bryan, graduating with honorable mention. Cassidy will be attending U of C to study infectious diseases. She will fondly remember Mr. Verhees' biology class. Cassidy thanks the BCHS staff, her parents, family, and her best friend, Sherwin. Cameron Budd, graduating with honors. Cameron is planning to attend U of Sask for food and bioproduct sciences. He thanks Ms. Uchiyagi, Ms. Brown, and his parents. Lincoln Burgesson. Lincoln would like to thank Mr. Lucas. Rachel Bushfield, graduating with honors. Rachel will remember taking W's in badminton with Madison. She will be attending U of L for education. Rachel thanks Mr. Sarah. <laughs> Alexander Cameron. Alexander thanks his parents for reminding him his work was due.
Bryden Cameron, graduating with honors. Bryden is attending U of A for engineering. His memorable moments are competing in football and dodgeball. Bryden thanks everyone who positively influenced him throughout high school. Wyatt Cannon. Wyatt will remember his days as QB1 on the football team. He will be attending MRU for a degree in sports and recreation. <laughs> Carter Colesimo, graduating with honors. Carter will remember participating in sports performance and outdoor ed. He hopes to become a police officer. Mila Carr. Mila sends special thanks to her best friend, her brother, and her mom for playing an important role in the person she is today. <laughs> Atlee Carson, graduating with honors. Atlee thanks Rachel Bushfield for cooking up lunches and never letting him go hungry, and Miss McKechn for being a great coach. Jackson Cartwright, graduating with honors. Jackson will be attending the U of A for engineering. He thanks his family and teachers for helping him get through school. <laughs> Michaela Cottle, graduating with honorable mention. Michaela will remember playing basketball with some of the most amazing young women. She thanks her parents, boyfriend, and her best friends. Gianna Shalan, graduating with honors. Gianna thanks her mom for helping her through difficult times and always supporting her. She is planning a career in theater and film directing. Sharon Charles, graduating with honors. Sharon plans to become a pharmacist. She also wants to thank the BCHS staff, her family, and her friends. Ciel Angel Chelsea. Ciel is a proud member of the Shushwap Nation. Ciel is planning to work while deciding on a career path. She would like to thank her sister and brother for helping her through her years of school. <laughs> Tyler Sid. Tyler will remember lunchtime rap battles in Jason's truck. He plans to become a master electrician. Mackenzie Cooper. Mackenzie thanks the teachers that understand the importance of different learning strategies for everyone and those who know how to recognize mental health. Austin Crapo. Austin will remember playing in BCI 2022. He plans to serve a mission, then attend medicine school. Austin thanks Coach Sarah, his basketball team, and all the boys. Katie Crawford. Katie would like to thank Mrs. Harmachuk. She will remember hanging out with her friends. Sarah Creamer, graduating with honors. Sarah will be attending Red Deer Polytechnic for a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Connor Suka. Connor thanks his mom for pushing him. He plans to become a realtor. Connor will remember just hanging out. Jack Cumbers, graduating with honorable mention. Jack does not know yet his future plans. He will remember developing friendships and relationships. Jack thanks their family and friends.
You're right there, Morgan. <laughs> Morgan Curry Francis, graduating with honors. Morgan's most memorable experience was helping to plan and be a part of Relay for Life. She thanks Ms. Cartwright for putting up with all her dramatics every lunch hour. <laughs> Courtney Daling. Courtney thanks Mr. McCreel for all his help. She plans to pursue a career in education. She also thanks her parents. <laughs> Duck Dang. <laughs> Duck's favorite memories are performing in the drama productions in class. He thanks everyone who's impacted his life in more ways than one. <laughs> Rachel Daniel. Rachel's planning to study law. She thanks her parents, Ms. Hoffman, and Ms. Schritter. <laughs> Ella DeRoche. Ella will remember the senior boys basketball game against George Mack. She thanks Mr. Lucas for being the best teacher ever. Ella plans to travel and become a social worker. Tanner Deans. Tanner plans to pursue a career as a heavy equipment technician. He would like to thank Carson Vicari. Grace DeVoe, graduating with honors. Grace's most memorable experience was her French class. She thanks her parents for always supporting and helping her. Dakota Devon. Dakota plans to become a welder. She thanks Ms. Branford for making English a fun time and the best class. <laughs> Kira DL. Kira would like to take a gap year before moving on to university to study biochemistry and eventually forensic science. <laughs> Jess Dollywall. Jess hopes to travel to Italy to pursue additional studies. She would like to thank her friends, her mom, her dad, her aunt, as well as Ms. Beliveau and Mr. Kirk, her favorite teachers. <laughs> Muscan Dollywall, graduating with honors. Muscan will remember the lockdown and sleeping through her bio teams meetings. She's attending U of C for a Bachelor of Nursing. Paramjot Dhaliwal, graduating with honors. Paramjot's favorite memories are participating on sports teams and enjoying his high school years with his friends. He thanks his family and friends for being supportive and pushing him to be better. Ava DeBolt, graduating with honorable mention. Ava will be attending AU Arts in the fall, majoring in fiber arts. She thanks her amazing parents, supportive friends and family, and her wonderful art teacher. Sarah Dolan, graduating with honors. Sarah thanks her parents, friends, and her grade six math teacher, Ms. Kulkarni. Her memorable moments were her first day of grade nine and lunch with her friends. Charmin Dorisamy, graduating with honors. Charmin plans to pursue engineering. He will remember participating in the dodgeball tournaments. <laughs> Ocean Doucette. Ocean's favorite memory is Ms. Hoffman's class and Ms. Bransford's class. Ocean thanks her girlfriend, her family, and Ms. Hoffman. <laughs> Casey Dowler, graduating with honorable mention. Casey plans to be as happy as possible and wants to give a shout out to Devin.
Brady Dowling, graduating with honorable mention. Brady will remember walking to Tim's on cold days with friends to get lunch. Bryce Dowling. Bryce will remember COVID. <laughs> Mika Dua, graduating with honors. Mika has been accepted into a Bachelor of Science program in nursing. Her first two years will be spent at the College of New Caledonia, followed up with two more years at UNBC. J.D. Duick. J.D.'s memorable experiences were Sam Demma's motivational talk. She thanks all her teachers that helped and encouraged her. Adam Duke. Adam's favorite memories are the band trip to New York. He would like to pursue a career as a professional songwriter. Matthew Dunn. Matthew plans to become a paramedic or kinesiologist. He will remember senior night basketball when he hit the three. Matthew thanks his parents. Tristan Dick, graduating with honors. Tristan will remember Mr. Burns' hilarious comments and stories during German. She thanks her parents for encouraging and supporting her. Arnad Difarajic, who unfortunately wasn't able to attend tonight. Arnad's memorable moments are his senior year. He's planning to attend SATE to be an electrician. Arnad thanks Ms. Booker, Ms. McKechn, and all his other teachers for keeping him on the path to success. Shay El Shikari. Shay would like to study education to become a high school math teacher. Shay would like to thank mom, her grandparents, and Mr. McCreel for their support. Warren Engen. Warren plans to pursue a career as a heavy duty equipment technician. His memorable moments are winning golf zones and going to provincials. Warren thanks his family, friends, and teachers. Andrew Fallow, graduating with honors. Andrew's memorable moment was hearing the story about the gummy bear stuck to the band room roof. He thanks his parents for always supporting him and his friends for always being by his side. <laughs> Kayla Farley Champagne. Kayla is planning on moving back to Ontario to begin her training and become a releasing officer for the military. She's grateful to her parents who pushed her and gave her opportunities to succeed. <laughs> Bella Fair. Bella thanks her parents for embracing her core values and all the teachers who really went out of their way to help her, specifically when she struggled most. <laughs> Jacob Furland. Jacob will remember grade 10 gym class. He would like to thank Mr. Lowry. Abby Forsyth. Abby hopes to become a toxicologist. <laughs> Alyssa Frizzell. Alyssa is planning to attend SATE for the journalism program. Jason Fu. Jason plans to pursue computer programming and be able to work a remote job while traveling the world. He thanks his family, specifically his mother. Wyatt Fighton, graduating with honors. Wyatt will remember dissecting the baby pig in biology. 
he plans to attend the U of L for biochemistry. Wyatt also thanks his parents. Davis Garvin. Davis will remember PE in grade 10. He also thanks Mr. Lucas. <clears throat> Zach Gerard, graduating with honorable mention. Zach plans on a career within the Canadian Armed Forces. He thanks his parents, teachers, and friends. Christos Gikaschmitz. Christos will remember grade 12. He plans to become a mechanic. Christos thanks Mr. Dorner and Mr. Nannan. Kale Gitzel. Kale plans on a career as a heavy duty mechanic. He thanks his teachers for helping him get through and his parents for always being there. Angelo Gonzalez. Angelo would like to thank Mr. McCreel and Mr. Reed. He will remember meeting new people and losing old friends. Mackenzie Gower. Mackenzie's memorable experience was Mr. McRae's class. She thanks her mom and dad. Jackson Hall, graduating with honors. Jackson plans to become the next Gordon Ramsay. He thanks Ms. Booker, Chef Sheets, Mr. Smith, and his parents for all his success. Zachary Halmo. Zachary thanks all his friends and his sister for their support. He plans to take time to discover his purpose. <laughs> Madison Hansen. Madison is to attend the U of L to obtain a Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Education. She thanks her teachers, coaches, family and friends, and a shout out to Mr. Sarah. Kelsey Hansen, graduating with honors. Kelsey is a proud member of the Muscadet Nation. Kelsey plans to pursue a career in forensic anthropology. She thanks her mom, her cat, Mr. Goodyear, Mr. McRae, Ms. Brown, and Mr. Larson. Monty Haley. Monty will remember his inside jokes with friends. Imogen Henry. Imogen thanks her dad for making her attend school in person this year. She hopes to get into pet grooming. Gibson Henschel, graduating with honorable mention. Gibson's planning to pursue a career in culinary arts. He thanks his mom and dad for always being there. Eli Hebert. Eli Hebert. Eli will remember the time spent with friends. He thanks all his teachers. <laughs> Molly Hignall, graduating with honors. Molly thanks Ms. Schritter for helping her succeed. Her future career goals involve helping people who struggle with mental health. <laughs> Laurel Hinch, graduating with honors. Laurel plans to pursue a computer science degree and become a game developer. She thanks her parents and teachers for everything. Scout Hindman. 
Scout thanks her mom for keeping her accountable for attending. She intends on moving as far away from Airdrie as possible. <laughs> Jack Hodgson, graduating with honors. Jack thanks his family for supporting him and his friends for all pushed him to do his best and for the amazing teachers who made him excited to walk to class every day. He plans to attend U of C for engineering. <clears throat> Easton Hughes, graduating with honors. Easton will remember being on the senior boys volleyball team. He plans to attend Old College for horticulture. Easton thanks his family, friends, and teachers. <clears throat> Haley Hughes, graduating with honors. Haley will be attending the U of A for criminology. She will remember being stronger than the guys in sports med. <laughs> Cole Humphreys. Cole will be working construction doing sprinkler fitting after high school. He thanks his tutor and his parents. <laughs> Shay Huskins. Shay thanks his mom and dad. He will remember the grade 9 carnival and the balloon dog he got that lasted four months. <laughs> Avery Irwin. Avery is planning to take a gap year and work before post-secondary. She thanks her older sister Olivia for guidance and support. <laughs> Ian Ivory, graduating with honors. Ian thanks his parents for helping him achieve what seemed to be impossible. He also thanks his friends for always having his back and making him laugh even on the worst days. Ashton Jackson. Ashton plans to take some time while he decides on a career path. He thanks his mom and dad. Paul Jackson. Paul will remember playing in BCI. He will be serving a mission for his church first, then attending post-secondary. Paul thanks Sukraj, Nagra, his basketball coaches, and all the boys. Zachary James, graduating with honorable mention. Zachary thanks his parents, friends, Ms. Brown and Mrs. King for always pushing him to do better than ever he thought he could. He plans to start a soul cafe. <laughs> Emma Jans, graduating with honors. Emma will remember eating lunch with the same friends since grade nine in Ms. Cartwright's class. She thanks her parents for supporting her always. Hunter Jarvis. Hunter will remember getting to skip grade 10 and 11 exams. He thanks all the teachers who taught him stuff. Ashton Jeffrey. Ashton plans to get a healthy amount of sleep after high school. Grace Jonas, graduating with honors. Grace will remember being a part of the theater program. She is planning on studying pharmacology. <laughs> Charles Johnson. Charles thanks Hannah for her generosity, his parents for their faith in him, and Hayes for making it all worth it. He'll remember experiencing firsthand how welcoming and open people can be. Alexis Johnston, graduating with honors. Alexis's memorable moment was getting a 98% on a math test. She thanks her teachers for all they do and the support they've given her. MJ Jolivet. 
MJ thanks her parents, who tried as hard as they could to give up a life and her a life and a childhood that she would grow up to value. Mackenzie Jodry. Mackenzie will remember moving to Alberta and thanks her friends who got her through these last two years. She hopes to obtain a Bachelor of Education. <laughs> Mitchell Kathler. Mitchell would like to thank his mom and dad for all their support. Monica Keeping, graduating with honors. Monica thanks Mrs. King and Mr. Verhees for making class interesting and fun. She's planning on attending MRU for a Bachelor of Science in Biology with the end goal of becoming a surgeon. Trayton Kempf, graduating with honorable mention. Trayton will be working towards his CPA. He will remember moving to Alberta. Trayton thanks his parents, his grandma, and his family. <laughs> Owen Kerr, graduating with honors. Owen will remember the online experience during COVID. He sends special thanks to Mr. Bonner, Bonner for pushing him these last three years. Neha Khan, graduating with honors. Neha plans to attend the University, Alberta University of the Arts and then become a tattoo artist. She thanks her teachers, family, and friends. Ainsley Kirk, graduating with honors. Ainsley will be attending the University of British Columbia Okanagan on a soccer scholarship to study health and exercise science. She thanks her parents for supporting her and her sisters for inspiring her. Just wait, Jamie. Give me one chance. Come on. Jamie Krolik. <laughs> Jamie Krolik. Jamie would like to thank Mr. Lucas for always being there for him to talk one on one about life. Liam Croche, graduating with honorable mention. Liam plans to attend MRU for criminal justice. He thanks his best friend Charlotte who supported him through all his ups and downs. Mick Lalonde. Mick will remember art class with Ms. Schritter. She thanks Ms. Weigel for teaching her math. Hannah Landles. Hannah wants to thank her grandpa who's no longer with us. Her most memorable experience was Mr. B racing the basketball team during practice and beating all of us. <laughs> Alondra Landero Solis, graduating with honors. Alondra thanks Mr. Netzel for his support in chemistry, Mr. Bloomhangen and Ms. Dix for supporting her hairdressing dreams, as well as Renee and Andrew. She'll remember napping in her car during spares. <laughs> Caleb Lapka. Caleb will remember the many shows he was a part of. He thanks Mr. Goodyear for continuously showing him what it means to love and accept people. Haley Larson. Haley hopes to become a clinical esthetician. She thanks her mom and her best friend, Veronica. <laughs> Isabel Laudis. Isabel thanks all the amazing friends she's made in the two years here at BCHS. She's planning to attend SAIT for culinary arts.
Jocelyn Laycock, graduating with honors. Jocelyn will be taking kinesiology at U of C. She will remember walking many laps before school with her friends. Carter Laythorpe, graduating with honors. Carter will remember home games in front of the student section. He will be playing basketball at Ambrose University while getting his degree. He thanks Coach Sarah, Coach Nystrom, and his parents. Ezra Legaspi. Ezra plans to become a nurse. She thanks her family and friends for all their support through school. Kian Lehman, graduating with honors. Kian will remember French class with Mr. Nordoff. He thanks his parents, grandparents, and friends who helped him make it through school. Aisha Lerner Kardash, graduating with honors. Aisha thanks her mom for being such an inspiration. She plans to live on a farm with cute little cows. Yashelle Lewin. Yashelle plans to pursue a career as a journalist. She thanks Mr. Smith for his inspiration, Isabella Bruet, and her family. Ashton Locke, graduating with honors. Ashton will remember the night spent with his friends. He's planning to be a mechanical engineer. Ashton thanks his teachers, coaches, friends, and parents. Caitlin Lowe. Caitlin plans to take a gap year, then pursue a career in education. She thanks Miss Nguyen for contributing to her growth and her overall happiness as a person. Caden Lucas. Caden thanks his family and friends. He's planning to go to Olds College to become a heavy duty technician. Bradley McNeil. Bradley is attending Bow Valley College for Justice Studies and hopes to become a police officer with the Calgary Police Service. He thanks his family and friends for all they have done for him along the way. Eisen Louise Mugsakai, graduating with honors. Eisen Louise is pursuing a career in computer engineering. He thanks his mom and dad as well as Ms. Norton. Eisen is hoping to travel in the coming year. Daniel Maklum. Daniel will remember the last few weeks of rehearsal for Mamma Mia. He hopes for a career as a photographer or cinematographer. Daniel thanks Mr. Maudie, Ms. Brown, Mr. Goodyear, and Mr. Jones. Theron Mikowski, graduating with honors. Theron thanks Mr. Dorner for supporting him in band and his many musical pursuits. Also his parents for their support. He will remember the band trip to Edmonton. Christopher Marnellos, graduating with honors. Christopher thanks his friends and family. He also thanks his favorite teachers for putting up with him all the time. Bellavo, Norton, Netzel, and especially Ms. Sheets and Ms. Booker. <laughs> Judianne Marte Perdomo. Judianne hopes to have her own photography business one day. She thanks her sister for supporting her. A, spe a special thanks also go to Mr. Ho, Ms. Brown, and Ms. Schritter. <laughs> Jaden Martin. Jaden's memorable experience was being on the grade 11 volleyball team. He plans to take a year off before walking to, working towards a mechanics career. Addison McCutcheon, graduating with honors. Addison will remember playing cahoots in Mrs. King's class. 
Addison thanks her sister, her other half. Connor McDermott. Connor is a proud member of the Métis Nation of Alberta. He thanks Mr. Burns for his patience and Ms. Branford for being eager to teach and bring smiles across her classroom. Colby McEwing, graduating with honors. Colby will remember soloing on stage the first time. He's attending SAIT to become an aircraft structural technician. Colby thanks his parents and the Clown Clan. Zachary McKillop. Zachary is a proud member of the Métis Nation. Zachary will remember his entire football experience. He would like to thank all his coaches throughout the years. Johnny McLeod. Johnny thanks Ms. Norton and Ms. Cartwright. He will remember the second lockdown, playing games and doing homework with his friends online all day. Noah McNair, graduating with honors. Noah thanks his family for helping him every step of the way. Ms. Cartwright for making high school fun and filled with laughs, and Tristan for helping him through the last year of high school. Inish Medeiros Oliveira, graduating with honorable mention. Inish plans to become a high school English teacher. She thanks Ms. Brown. Meeting new people was Inish's most memorable aspect of high school. Inara Mahari, graduating with honors. Inara is attending U of C to study nursing. She thanks Mrs. King and Ms. Norton for being such amazing and fun teachers. Ella McAuliffe. Ella's favorite memories were the first day of carnival. She thanks Mr. Reed for creating a fun and safe high school environment. <laughs> Braden Mitchell, graduating with honors. Braden will remember being on the BCHS soccer team and sharing the pitch with his friends. He's attending U of C to study engineering. Braden thanks his family, friends, and peers. <laughs> Ella Morgan. Ella will remember Mr. Larson following into the bleachers during Ultimate Frisbee. She thanks Ms. Wilson for being so supportive as a coach and Mr. Lowry and Mr. Larson being the funniest duo of all time. Aiden Morrison. Aiden's favorite memories are football. He would like to thank his family. Dalen Morrison. Dalen will remember badminton zones in grade 11. He thanks his parents for always supporting him when he needed it and his friends who made the days more enjoyable. <laughs> Madison Moyen. Madison thanks her teachers, friends, and family for all the support. She plans to explore her passion for photography in the coming years. Suhani Mashala. Suhani's entire high school experience was affected by COVID, yet it will always be her most memorable experience during high school. Myra Monday, graduating with honors. Myra's memorable experience was being a part of the Mamma Mia production. She thanks her parents for helping her and her teachers for believing in her. Ronan Murphy. Ronan is planning to travel in the coming years. He's going to remember graduating. <laughs> Sh 
Charlotte Murray, graduating with honors. Charlotte is a proud member of the Cree Métis Nation. Charlotte thanks her brother Cassius for being an amazing best friend and her parents for supporting and loving her. She'll also remember taking Mr. Horn's bio class all year in grade 11. <laughs> Madison Murray. Madison plans to travel the world and make some amazing memories. She thanks the most important people in her life, her mom, her brother, and her best friend, Devin. <laughs> Keaton Myers, graduating with honors. Keaton is planning to take engineering at U of C. He thanks his parents and all his teachers. Colby Nielsen. Colby is unsure of his future plans. He wants to thank his mom, family, and friends for getting him where he is today. Mary Newell. Mary is planning to join the military. She thanks Michelle Turner for helping her continue with cadets. Callie Nickel. Callie's memorable moments are all of Miss Nguyen's yoga classes. She thanks her family, Jade, and Miss Nguyen. <laughs> Hannah Nickel, graduating with honors. Hannah's most memorable moment was winning bronze at volleyball zones. She thanks Mr. Dorner for being an amazing teacher and Miss Cartwright for letting her and her friends crash every lunch. Nathan Nipper, graduating with honors. Nathan plans to pursue a career in criminal justice. He will remember learning online during COVID. <laughs> Tyler Nipper, graduating with honors. Tyler will remember helping grade nines through Link Crew. His career plans are to be an aircraft maintenance engineer. Nish Noble, graduating with honorable mention. Nish would like to thank Ms. Teamstra for always being there. Abby Nyberg, graduating with honorable mention. Abby thanks her family for all of the love and support. Her future plans include traveling the world. Ty Ochitwa, graduating with honors. Ty will remember football, winning bronze in overtime. He thanks his parents for supporting him with everything that he did. Also, his grandma for always watching his games and showing up to all his sporting events. Shade Odomero. Shade wants to pursue a career in cosmetology. Shade wants to thank mommy, her dad, and her boyfriend. Toby Ojo. Toby is taking psychology at Mount Royal. He would like to thank his family, as well as Mr. Sarah, for being the biggest LeBron fan he knows. <clears throat> Ethan O'Leary. Ethan's memorable moments are his grade 12 year. He plans to be a rock star. <laughs> Jaden Onright. Jaden thanks Amber Thomas and Colby McEwing. She plans to travel the world. Ryan Pace, graduating with honors. 
Ryan will remember playing in football games. He also thanks his parents. <clears throat> Hudson Polishnik, graduating with honors. Hudson will remember spending time and laughing with friends. She thanks her parents for her under their unconditional love and support. Grace Parsons. Grace thanks all the BCHS staff, her parents for cheering her on along the way, and her friends that made high school memorable. Carter Penner. Carter will remember special assemblies at Burt Church. Carter plans to pursue a career in the trades. He thanks his parents and Ashir for their support. Presley Penner. Presley is planning to do lots of traveling and eventually start her own business. <clears throat> James Penton. James thanks Mr. Dorner for being an amazing teacher, musician, and friend. And to Bradley, Muhammad, Nick, and Cameron for being the most supportive and outrageously offensive group of friends of people he knows. Casey Pepper. The farm school is Casey's most memorable experience. They thank Mr. Chemistic for caring about them through everything. He's the reason they're walking the stage today. <laughs> David Perez. David thanks Mr. Reed for the support and guidance. He's planning to be an entrepreneur. Araya Pitcher, graduating with honors. Araya thanks her sister for carving a path in life and her parents for being supportive of her passions and decisions. <laughs> Madison Poila. Madison's memories are of going to football and other school sports. She thanks her parents and family as well as Mr. Lucas for always believing in her. Madison Popowich. Madison will remember COVID. She thanks her mom and dad for always being supportive and her best friend Monica for always keeping her on track and getting her coffee. Taylor Puglia. Taylor thanks his mom and Miss McEachin. Without the support and extra help of Miss McEachin, he would not be where he is today. Taylor's most memorable moment was winning silver at volleyball zones. AJ Perba. AJ plans to become an electrician. He also thanks his parents. Zoe Pin. Zoe will remember winning the zone banner for girls soccer. She thanks Miss Newen for being an awesome teacher. Zoe plans to explore a career in the mental health field. <laughs> Keita Kialunda. Keita's most memorable moments were band practice and spirit days. She plans to travel the world and work on music. Kata thanks her family and friends. <laughs> Jaden Rye. Jaden is planning to attend Mount Royal University. He would like to thank his parents. <laughs> Christian Reed. Christian is taking culinary arts at SAIT. He thanks his mother and grandparents. Christian will remember the friends he made because of the pandemic. McKenna Reed, graduating with honors. 
McKenna plans to go to culinary school and hopes to own a cafe. She thanks her mom. She couldn't have done everything she's doing without her. She also thanks Ms. Booker and Chef Sheets for a love of culinary arts. <laughs> Abigail Reeve, graduating with honors. Abigail will attend Marion University in Indianapolis on a cycling scholarship. Abigail thanks her family for supporting her dreams and allowing her to fly around the world to race BMX for Canada. <laughs> Nicholas Reichert. Nicholas thanks his family, friends, and loved ones. He will remember hanging out with his buddies. <laughs> Josh Rempel. Josh wants to thank his mom, Mr. McCreel, and Mr. Reed. <laughs> Reese Reynolds. Reese is planning a career in welding. He will remember meeting the people he knows now. Caven Riley. Caven will remember grade nine. He thanks all his friends and teachers. Claudio Wrinkle, graduating with honors. Claudio thanks his parents, Chris, his brothers, and all his teachers. He'll remember the Edmonton band trip. Tegan Rowe. Tegan is planning to become a rocket scientist. She thanks the ladies in the office for their energy and humor. Cameron Roberge, graduating with honorable mention. Cameron's favorite memories are playing basketball in front of a home crowd. He is attending SAIT to become a paramedic. Cameron thanks his teammates, coaches, friends, and family. <clears throat> Harley Robert. Harley thanks Mr. McRae for having such a fun class and being able to keep everyone engaged. The talent show is one of Harley's most memorable experiences. DJ Roberts, graduating with honorable mention. DJ will remember his first high school basketball game. He thanks his mom and dad. Maya Rockwell, graduating with honors. Maya's memorable experience was starring in Mamma Mia. She thanks her parents for supporting her and her older sister for inspiring her. Connor Romeo. Connor thanks Mrs. Harmachuk. He'll remember not being at school during COVID. <laughs> Maya Sager. Maya will remember all the drama. She thanks her sixth grade teacher and her parents. Maya plans to pursue acting or firefighting. Farhan Sayed. Farhan thanks his family and his friends from Calgary. His memorable moments were going to school in Calgary. <laughs> Emma Sans Regret, graduating with honors. Emma plans to attend MRU to study biology with a future goal of becoming a veterinarian. 
She thanks her parents, friends, and the teachers and staff of BCHS. Aisha Santander Saraminto. Aisha thanks her parents and family, as well as Bella, for helping her through high school and encouraging her. She plans to have a career in the medical field. Amul Sarwar. Amul's future plans are to become a pilot. She thanks her parents for all the support. Jesse Schmidt, graduating with honors. Jesse plans to attend Western University for political science before going to law school. She hopes to become involved in the world of sport law. Jesse thanks her family for supporting her and keeping her humble, and her friends for making high school enjoyable. <laughs> Tiona Seabrook, graduating with honors. Tiona is going to remember Zoom. She thanks her mom, dad, and Cam. Tiona is planning a career in STEM. Decker Sefcik. Decker's future plans include opening his gym and running youth athletic programs. He thanks all his football coaches and his friends for their support. Ava Shavluck. Graduating with honors. Ava plans to attend UBC in the fall. She thanks her mom, stepdad, and sister for always supporting her and making her laugh when she needed it. Bakhtawar Shazad, graduating with honors. Bakhtawar will remember doing laps in the halls with Cameron. She thanks her friends and family. Jade Shelton's. Jade's memorable moments were any yoga class with Miss Nguyen. It was always filled with laughs. She thanks her parents and Kali. Declan Simpson. Declan is planning a career as an electrician. He thanks Mr. Reed. Declan will remember all the adventures. Asher Song. Asher will remember COVID lockdown and online school. He's planning to attend the U of C. He'd also like to thank his family and friends. <laughs> Haley Stewart. Haley is a member of the Micmac First Nation. Haley plans to attend MRU for criminal justice. She thanks her friends, family, and Mr. Dorner. Haley will also remember that senior band trip. <laughs> Rachel Stormont. Rachel would like to thank Ms. Stachinuk for putting up with her horrid math skills. She also thanks Ms. Branford for being an understanding and caring teacher. <laughs> Alexander Stewart. Alexander will remember playing in the Cobble Classic. He thanks his family, friends, and teachers, specifically Mr. Lucas and Mrs. Martyr. <laughs> Amethyst Sumlack, graduating with honors. Amethyst plans to travel while deciding on a career. Amethyst thanks Mr. McCreel, Mr. Larson, Mr. Smith, and Ms. Schritter. Jaya Svedson, graduating with honorable mention. Jaya thanks her parents, 
She also thanks the teachers who put in extra time before or after school, even at lunch, to ensure she succeeded. <laughs> Hayden Tate. Hayden thanks his friends and teachers who helped him these last two years. He also thanks his parents for all their support. He is planning to work a while while deciding on a career in the trades. Adrian Tampas. Adrian plans to become a dentist. He thanks all his teachers for making his first year in the Canadian education system comfortable. Heidi Tester, graduating with honors. Heidi thanks her friends and her family for the support as she enters a new chapter in her life. Heidi is attending the University of Alberta for nursing. <laughs> Natasha Tester, graduating with honors. Natasha is planning to pursue a, pursue a career in political science to advocate for people and travel the world. Amber Thomas. Amber will remember finding her people and learning how to fully express herself. She plans to become a body piercer. She thanks her mom, Jaden, Emma, and Colby. <laughs> Kaylee Thomas, graduating with honors. Kaylee is attending MRU to study sciences with a major in biology. She thanks her friends and family. Aiden Thompson. Aiden thanks Mr. Reed for always being kind to him. His future plans include trade school or football. <laughs> Nevea Thompson. Nevea will remember her first and last days, but most importantly, the ones spent with friends. She thanks everyone who supported her. Kai Thorison. Kai plans to get a Bachelor of Music in Education. He thanks Mr. Dorner. <laughs> Sienna Ties. Graduating with honors. Sienna will remember Ms. Booker calling and encouraging them to enter a skills competition. They plan to go to culinary school. Sienna also wants to thank Ms. Cartwright. Zoe Trim. Zoe will be attending Del Mar College and plans to grow her aesthetics company that she started in grade 11. Zoe thanks her parents, her teachers, and Brooklyn Bar Barclay, as well as the administration. Alicia Van Sluis. Alicia thanks her mom, dad, and family for their love and support, as well as her grade six rocketry teacher, Mr. Brian Jackson. Bailey Vatcher, graduating with honors. Bailey will remember playing in band. Her plans include playing in an orchestra and pursuing finance. She'd like to thank her family for always being there. <laughs> Benjamin Vatcher, graduating with honorable mention. Benjamin will remember Robotics 10 and creating his first robot. He plans to be an electrical engineer. Benjamin also wants to thank his parents. <laughs> Carson Vicari. 
Carson thanks his parents, Sandra and Jason, his bandmates, Dylan, Kai, Matthew, and Jaden, as well as Stevie Ray Vaughan, for Couldn't Stand the Weather. <laughs> Seamus Vincent, graduating with honors. Seamus is taking a gap year and working while looking into a career in the trades and hopefully traveling with his friends. Caden Walker. Caden will remember mechanics class. He would like to thank Mr. Horn. Jada Walls. Jada is planning a career as a mechanic or carpenter. She thanks Ms. Hoffman, who has helped her through thick and thin. <clears throat> Karis Ward. Karis plans to pursue a career in animation. She thanks her mom and dad for all the valuable lessons they have taught her. <laughs> Hennessy Waterhouse. Hennessy hopes to pursue a career in interior design. She thanks Mr. Jones for the many leadership opportunities, Ms. Schroeder for helping her discover her passions, and finally, her parents for their unwavering support. <laughs> Leah Weech. Leah plans to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. She sends a huge thanks to her parents for their support, as well as Ms. Schroeder and Ms. Cartwright. Charlie Wiersma, graduating with honors. Charlie will remember playing football and soccer. He thanks everyone who supported him. Charlie plans to play for the Okanagan Sun, then go to, the, go to university for engineering. <laughs> Kale Wigmeyer. Kale will remember working in the cafeteria. He thanks all the culinary teachers who inspired him. Jesse Witt, graduating with honors. Jesse is attending the U of C for Urban Studies. She wants to thank Mr. Smith. <laughs> Koneko Wong, graduating with honors. Koneko will remember Mama Mia's Tech Week. She thanks Bon Bon Nets, Good Goodness, Ms. Williams, Father Wong, Mother Wong, and Brother Wong. Madison Woodhouse. Madison thanks Mr. McCreel and Mr. Ferguson for pushing her to always do her best, as well as her mom and dad for helping her along the way. Yo Lin Yin. Yo Lin will remember getting her learner's license. She thanks all her teachers and friends. Marcy Zielkowski. Marcy thanks her father for helping her through thick and thin. She plans to become a baker. Sydney Zulnick. Sydney plans to get a biology degree and then go on to forensics. She also wants to thank her mom and dad.
On behalf of Bird Church High School, we would like to express our sincere appreciation for your support and contributions, not only to your graduating students, but to our enti entire school community. We'd also like to acknowledge several teams of people who worked tirelessly to support the Bird Church High School graduating class of 2023. To our office team of Ms. Lori Allen, Ms. Lisa Chadwick, Ms. Carolyn McCracken, and Ms. Carol Twomey, thank you for your hours of background organizational work. Many of the little details would not have been accomplished without you. To our teacher grad committee of Mr. Verhees, Ms. Dominguez, Mr. Ferguson, Ms. Cumberland, and Mr. Reed, thank you. Your time and efforts are greatly appreciated. To our student grad committee, you are an amazing group who worked tirelessly to make this year's graduation a memorable one, so thank you. To the amazing staff at Bird Church High School and all our former teachers who joined us on this special occasion, thank you for helping us reach the finish line. And finally, to all families who came to support the graduates today, thank you for your guidance, perseverance, patience, and love. Congratulations, graduating class of 2023. Mr. Reed, could you please come up to conclude the graduation ceremonies, and could everyone else please remain seated until the graduates have left the field house? Ladies and gentlemen, I now present for you the Burt Church High School graduating class of 2023. You may now throw your hats. Once upon a young year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play.